this video i'm going to discuss about great a uh, circle sailing well we need to know what is the shortest distance between any two given point so these are two points here point a and point b and if they are on the plane surface then the shortest distance will be the distance along the straight line however if these two points are not on the straight line then what is the shortest distance let us consider that these two points are on the sphere say this is point a and this is point b and these two points are on the sphere so we need to find what is the a distance a to b well this will be the arc of a circle and well this is the arc of circle which is passing through these two points and this circle is having the greatest possible radius so we can say that this circle is having the greatest possible radius that means this circle is passing through the center of this big circle so we can say if the radius of the circle is less or reduces the distance along the arc will increase hence we need to have a circle which is having large radius now let us consider the case of earth earth can be considered as a spherical shape actually is the oblate spheroid and if it is a spherical then a straight line a straight line track for large distance is not possible what we have is the shortest distance between any two point on the surface of earth so we need to have a shorter arc of circle which passes through the two points and of course this circle is having the largest radius well uh, let's uh, revise it with this concept this is point a and this is point b so the shortest distance between these two points is the shorter arc of great circle so this is a great circle and the definition of great circle is that the center of great circle passes through the center of the sphere and since earth is a sphere we have consider earth as a sphere so the center of the earth and the center of this great circle is same hence the radius of great circle is also the radius of a sphere or earth which is maximum it should be noted that if this is a, a small circle then this small circle is having a different radius which is smaller than the radius of great a circle which is passing through the center of earth hence we can say that the shortest possible uh, distance is the great circle distance on the earth so the rumb line distance which is also called as a straight line and the great circle distance have some difference and we can have a considerable saving since the great circle distance is the shortest shortest distance so we can have a considerable saving especially in east west direction in the east west direction we can have maximum saving however in a north south uh, direction when the distance is north south then saving is a minimum because you are traveling along the path of meridians this is north and this is south also if you are sailing along the equator so this is the equator then the difference in great circle sailing and rumb line sailing is almost nil well if you are sailing in high latitude and east west direction in east west direction so this is east and this is west and sailing in high latitude this is uh, say north pole 
and this is south pole then the saving is maximum the difference between great circle distance and the rumb line distance is maximum so the sailing along the great circle track requires continuous change of course at every point if you need to sail along this great circle you need to change the course at every point however this is uh, difficult and also impossible so we have a solution and the solution is that there is a series of short rumb lines which are approximating the great circle track let's go back here so this is a series of a short uh, rumb lines and this makes the great circle so vessel steer some course at for some time and then change the course by small amount and keep changing the course like this that is how we can do the great circle sailing now if these two points say point a let me just mark here this, this point a and this point b both are in same hemisphere so this is a north pole here this is uh, equator zero degree so the great circle will curve towards the pole so these are in the northern hemisphere this curve will the GC will curve towards north pole similarly if they are in different hemisphere say point A is in southern hemisphere and point B is uh, in northern hemisphere then GC will curve towards the pole of higher latitude so here the latitude of B B is high so it will curve like this in this direction however from A to the equator the curving will be in this direction towards uh, this pole let's have a typical example both these points are in a different hemisphere so both these points are in different hemispheres this is point A and this is uh, point B say this point B is in northern hemisphere and this point A is southern hemisphere so here the curve will be the GC will since it is in southern hemisphere it will curve towards this pole P dash we can say and from equator to this point the, since this is in another hemisphere the GC will curve towards this pole well in this case if the value is same only the names are different say 20 degree north A is 20 degree south and B is 20 degree north names are uh, different but the value is same then initial course and final course of the uh, great circle track will remain same now let's solve this example suppose this is point A which is 20 degree north and 70 degree west point B is 40 degree north and 50 degree west this is the equator just for sake of understanding this is north pole and south pole we need to find great circle distance initial course and final course so we need to have a formula and which is the cosine formula the cosine formula says that let's use the cosine formula and the cosine formula says that cos of this side say cos AB will be cos of adjacent side that means cos PA and cos PB let me just here cos AB will be cos PA and cos PB plus sin PA and sin PB into cos P cos P is this angle so here equator to this point A was a 20 degree so PA will be 70 degree similarly from equator to B was a 40 degree so B to P or PB will be 50 degree well I can put this value this uh, this is PA which is 70 degree 
PB is 50 degree, same way sin 70, sin 50 and cos P. The value of cos P is 20 degree. Say this is the longitude which is 70 degree west and then you are going to go to 50 degree west. That means from where more west we are going to go to less west. So this the value is 20 degree east and this is called D long. So here the value was a 70 degree west and now here on this meridian the value is 50 degree west. So we are going towards easterly direction. Now after punching the values and here I am using this Casio FX uh, 991ms Kc. After punching the values I get AB is equal to 26.32660753 and it is uh, quite useful if we use all the digit. So I just multiply by 60 and after multiplying the 60 let me just mark here I get this value and I can round off which is 1579.6 that is the great circle uh, distance. Now if I need to find the initial course again I can use this cosine formula so the use of cosine formula is simple here cos PB is equal to cos PA cos AB plus sine PA sine AB into cos A so this time we have used this formula considering cos PB considering this side this side is equal to cos of this side PA and PB plus sine PA and sine PB and cos of this angle cos A. Similarly we got this value after punching the values here and the value of uh, PA uh, value of AB value of AB we had just calculated here let me just scroll it up and uh, I have taken this uh, value only 26.3266 this is good enough to use so I get this angle A is equal to 36.2122 or in degree 36 degree 12 minute 43.99 second and I can round off to 36 degree 12.7 so if this is the ship so this angle is 36 degree 12.7 I can name it as north 36 degree 12.7 east or simply 0 36 degree 12.7 true similarly I need to calculate this angle B and how to calculate this angle B well the angle B I think uh, just let me just clear this so it's much better this angle will be how this angle will come in this picture cos PA that means this side is equal to cos of this side and cos of this side plus sine of uh, uh, this side and sine of this side and angle cos angle B well it's the same way and now we have this equation the cos B is equal to cos 70 minus cos 50 is into cos 26.3266 divided by sine 50 and sine 26.3266 so we get this angle B directly 133.5564183 we can convert into degree and minute and second and simply I will have this value 133 degree 33.4 well this is this angle this is this angle we should be very careful with this let me just go up here we have found this angle B in this direction so if this is this angle and you know this is a ship is heading in this direction the total is 180 degree minus this angle 
will give me 46 degree 26.6 so I have this angle I can write course as 46 degree 